Welcome to this presentation of integration between Revit Structure and CSC's Orion for the design of reinforced concrete structure. For this example, we will be demonstrating the sharing of data for a typical beam and column construction. Here you can see a model generated in Revit Structure by the technician for the purpose of drawing production. The project consists of four floors for which plans, elevations, sections and 3D views have been generated. Here you can see some of the 3D and perspective images created in Revit. Sections can be automatically generated anywhere within the model. Once plans, sections and 3D views have been generated, final drawings can now be created. To share the Revit model with Orion, a file must be created. This file is generated by a free application available at CSC's website, cscworld.com. Here you will also find technical documents describing the integration process. Once this application is installed, additional options become available under the Tools menu, allowing import and export to CSE's Fast Track Building Designer for steel building design, and of course Orion for concrete building design. Once created, a log file can be interrogated. To integrate the Revit model with Orion, you will need to create a blank model. This will include setting up your initial design parameters and also accepting default floor level. From the import menu, navigate and open the import file from Revit Structure. The import process is now complete and the model can be viewed. You will note that no slabs have been communicated from Revit. This is due to the fact that slabs need to be considered as a discrete panels in a structural code-based design system such as Orion, and not as one big slab per floor as typically modelled by technicians. Information such as loading, loading patterns, panel types as defined by codes of practice need to be controlled by the engineer. Recreating the slabs in Orion is a simple exercise. Here we will use 150mm thick slabs with an additional dead load of 1.2 kilonewtons per meter squared and live load of 1.5 kilonewtons per meter squared. Slabs can be easily copied to each floor using the generate story command. For this example, the slabs have been created on each floor already. For the design of these slabs, we will be using the code based design methods. Here the slab support types can be automatically established to assist. Now we have created the model and loading data, we will now run the analysis and design process. First, load combinations are checked. Next, material data. Consideration is now given to the analysis options. Here we will analyze the structure with automatic rigid arms, use finer elements for the wall design and consider flanged beam section. Before running an analysis we will run a model validity check. During the analysis all beam loads are calculated and notional horizontal forces are created as defined in the code of practice. Now we can examine the analysis results. Here you can investigate the bending moments within the frame. 
Note the black lines indicating where rigid arms have been created automatically for you. The deflected form can also easily be interrogated. Now let's consider the column design. Before running a design, certain design parameters should be considered, such as bar sizes, links, containment rules, and design methods. On completion of the column design, here you can see all the columns have passed. By clicking on a beam reference, the individual design can be investigated. Once the engineer is happy with the design, reinforcement drawings can be created. Now let's consider the beam design. As for columns, consideration should be given to the design parameters. Now the design routine is finished, you can see all beams have passed. By clicking on an individual beam, you will see the full design for that member. In these screens, the engineer can interactively review the design and detailing. Individual force diagrams are also available. Next, we will create reinforcement drawings for all the beams. Here, you can see Orion establishing a steel bar quantity table for you automatically. The final part of the process is to design the slab. To demonstrate this, we will show some typical bays reinforced. All the reinforcement drawings created within Orion can be saved in CAD format, typically DXF. These drawings can then be linked back into your Revit model. To import a CAD drawing into Revit, Go to File, Import, CAD Formats. Choose the file you want. Click the Link button and specify Colors, Layers, Units and Positioning. If you do not get the position quite right, the drawing can be moved into the correct position. This presentation has shown how Revit Structure and Orion can be integrated. The integration process, however, is bidirectional, so you can start the process from either Orion or Revit. We hope you found this presentation interesting and informative. If you would like to learn more, please visit cfcworld.com. Thank you.